Hi, my name is Valentine. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a hyper-realistic skin texture. So to have a better understanding of the tricks that I'm going to use in this video, make sure that you watch this video until the end. Right now, I'm drawing the eyes. I'm using a soft, a soft charcoal pencil, which is so easy to use and easy to to spread its powder on the other areas. Remember, while drawing a realistic drawing or hyper-realistic drawing, you have to make sure that your transition of values are smooth. That's why you need materials like a blending stamp to achieve that. And then I grab an electric eraser to put the highlights or the lighter values. To enhance the highlights, I also use a Gaily Roll white pen to make it so brighter. And then below the eye, I start with an HB pencil to create my first layer. And then later on, I'm going to use uh, charcoal powder to add on another layer. I'm also going to use uh, a cosmetic brush to help me smudge the charcoal powder. To draw a realistic skin texture, you begin with dots. And then after drawing the dots, you combine the dots with lines in different directions. And then in between the lines and the dots, you use a mono zero eraser to put to put lighter values, or you can use an electric eraser. It can also serve the same purpose. Or you can also use a gaily roll white pen, and then later on you tone down so that it doesn't look so brighter.
same process i'm drawing the dots then later on after drawing the dots you can also get a blending stamp to make the dots look so smooth and realistic because if you don't use a blending stamp the dots will just look so hard and, and, and not realistic and then later on you combine the dots with short lines in different directions You can also use an needed eraser to create light values in between the dots. Here I'm using a Gilly Roll White Pen to create lighter values in between the dots. So it's just still the same process. You create dots, you combine the dots with short lines, then in between the dots and the lines, you either use a mono zero eraser or a gaily roll white white pen to create lighter values And then after after using the gaily roll white pen you get a blending stamp to tone down the uh, the, the effect of the uh, gaily roll white pen because it's too white and bright so you make sure you did you tone down a bit to make it look realistic and blend in the skin On the nose I've begun with drawing the dots and then I'm also going to combine the dots with short lines in different directions. Later on I use a blending stamp to soften the, the dots and then there I will grab my electric eraser to create light values in between the dots and the lines.
Right now I'm using an electric eraser to draw or to put light values in between the lines and the dots and as you can see the skin has begun looking realistic. You can also use a mono zero eraser to do the same thing to put light values in between the dots and uh, the lines. Right now I grab a blending stamp to turn down the effect of uh, Gary Roll white paint.
after drawing the stubble beards with the Gary roll white pen, I'm using a blending stamp to blend it to make the stubble beards look as if they're coming from the skin. Because if you just draw and you leave it like that, the beards will look as if they are just on top of the skin. So try to use the blending stamp and you blend it so that it looks realistic. And if you want to learn how to shade, watch the video below.